are here today because one of the greatest injustices in the world continues. Because a man who brought the truth about governments, the truth about the lies of governments, the truth about the crimes of governments, who brought that truth to billions of people is languishing in a maximum security jail where he has been now for five years. And that is wrong. That is wrong. If Julian is imprisoned, if this stands, if this continues, it is not just an attack on the freedom to speak. It is not just an attack on the freedom to publish. It is an attack on the freedom to know. It is an attack on the right of citizens to have knowledge of what their governments are doing in their name and with their taxes in private. It is an attack on the rights of every single person here and every single person around the globe. I've been at any day of these hearings over years and years, and I tell you something, I have lost all faith in the independence of the judicial system. I just do not believe in it. But today, in that court, Lady Judge is going to sit at the head of the court, who is the sister of the man who arranged an £800,000 loan for Boris Johnson and then became chairman of the BBC. Because that is how the British establishment works. It is corrupt to its core. And I'm not here expecting justice from an unjust establishment. But I am here in the hope that we can steer the establishment scared of the power and the voice of its people into being forced to give justice because that is the only path to justice in this country. Public opinion has slowly changed. It's been like turning an oil tanker, but over years and years of effort and campaigning, we have now reached a stage where most people understand the issues at stake here, where the lies and flim flam being put out by the media has been washed away, and where, thankfully, nearly all major publications now oppose the extradition of Julian Assange, where the publications that worked with him initially have come round to saying he should not be uh, extradited, where the journalists of the world are standing up for Julian, we have now got public opinion and public pressure on our side. I don't think this will end today or tomorrow. I think we still have a path ahead of us, but there are far more of you here today, even at this time in the morning, than were here last time we stood outside this court. There are more of us all the time. The pressure is growing. I'm going to keep campaigning. Yay! I know you will keep campaigning. And I thank you all very much. Thank you.